Alright, uh, what's up folks? So it's uh, time for another unboxing and this one is uh, another one I've been waiting for quite a while. I put in this order in the middle of November and I wake up uh, this afternoon stumble around getting ready for work um, worked at the mall tonight and uh, I open the door to go to work and I see it sitting on the front porch which is fine, I mean whatever but I think it's kind of interesting the package says carrier leave if no response and then also says Sunday delivery which they could have left it at the office the office was open but they didn't so I'm thinking gee I sure would hate for a kid to come along and steal this $100 piece of merchandise but you know whatever alright so we'll go ahead and get into it Okay. Holy smokes, it's in a nice box. There you go, folks. The official uh, Street Fighter II soundtrack on vinyl. <laughs> and um, as far as I understand, this is basically every um, iteration of Street Fighter II. Um, let's see. No, don't really see much of a description here. Wait, yep, here we go. The definitive soundtrack features a new digital restoration approved by composer, some Japanese name, and includes the full arcade soundtrack, the original CPS-1 score that appeared in Street Fighter II The World Warrior, plus a newly arranged CPS-2 score for Super Street Fighter II Turbo. Booklet includes a foreword by another Japanese name, executive producer of the Street Fighter series, an interview with composer Japanese name, an essay by Matt Leon featuring editor at Polygon.com, and original archival artworks. So, and I'm really surprised that this came in a box. I was not expecting it to come in a box. I was just expecting four loose records and call it a day, but um, this is really really top-notch um, packaging right here, if I do say so myself. Spare no expense. Just need to open it up. There we go. I don't even know if they're still selling these because they posted a uh, first wave and they got sold out. And they posted a second wave they got sold out. I don't know if they ever posted a third wave or not. Oh, this is really freaking nice. Um, wow. Holy smokes, look at the booklet. Oh my gosh, artwork, and words, and stories, and stuff. Introduction. We got track titles again. Uh, looks like, um, artwork. Rio. Blanca. Soundtrack forward. I guess you can pause it and blow it up uh, full screen if you want to read that. Conversation with Japanese name. And Ken. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um... Oh, thoughts on creation of the character and themes. Okay. So if you want to pause that and put it in full screen, you can read that as well. Freaking sag it. Can't stand that guy. Is that it? No, there's one more page. Hmm. I guess.
has some technical specs and other things. Yeah, uh, this was released by Brave Wave Productions. Never heard of them. Um, okay, so we got the booklet there. Okay, so we got um, first record with um, Ryu. I'm trying to think of his name because on Shinmu, it's basically the same name, but they pronounce it differently. Let's see what color vinyl this is. Okay, we got uh, transparent blue. Ah. Back is just a, a G. Okay, so, um, okay. We got uh, Vega here. And this is on, oh, also transparent blue vinyl. And both of these discs, it says, is um, CPS 1, disc 1, uh, and disc 2. And then here we have uh, CPS 2. Um, disc 1 is with M. Bison. And this is on a orange. It's like orange transparent, yeah. I'm not very comfortable opening these up when they're just in my hand, so I like to flip them around like that so it's in the uh, protective sleeve. And then the, uh, the fourth one is... Looks like we got um, Dalsim. There we go. And yeah, orange transparent as well. So yeah, basically spare no expense, folks. This is a very very slick packaging. I have to say, uh, this is just much more than what I expected when when I originally ordered this. As I, said, I just thought it'd be four discs, call it a day shipped loose. It's actually housed in a sturdy cardboard box with a booklet, drawing stories, whatnot. So um, I guess we'll uh, throw it on and see how it sounds. And then the back, if you're so inclined to uh, <coughs> see that. Let's see. Move in on a little bit if you want to read that. Okay, so, uh, yeah, as I said, I'm thoroughly impressed. Very impressed. So, give it a listen, see how it sounds. But, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Okay, so, uh, we'll just put on, um, CPS 1, side 1, disc 1. Um, I'll go ahead and give the record a quick, uh, clean off. Oh, that doesn't sound good. On the neighbors. There we go. Oh. Do you have to remove any um, dust or contaminants from the uh, the sleeve? Because sometimes you can get dust and contaminants from the sleeve. All right. Let's see how she sounds. Your select screen for the gun cheers.
Well, I uh, I give it my seal of approval.